Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Ambu Chan and we are playing To The Moon. I know it's been a while since I've played this. Um, I'm going to jump right back into it and we're going to get started to figure out what's going on. Uh, this will be a long episode, uh, probably about 35 minutes. So let me get my clock uh, going. There we go. Be about a 30, 30, 35 minute episode um, since I've um, I haven't been recording this. Oh, everyone's leaving already. I just got here. Seems to happen to you a lot at parties. Oh, go save your childish jabs for, for the insecure. Okay, so we are at a party. Why are those pickled olives? I don't think those are. Yep, that's pickled olives. I see Le Fromage. But where's the mouse? That's the corniest remark you made all day, all night. Don't you mean cheesiest remark? Wow. Really? Do, do, do. Hair swaying in the wind. Um, so apparently everybody keeps warning me that uh, I'm gonna need a box of tissues. Um, for this, and um, everybody keeps telling me I need a box of tissues, and that um, the feels will get to me near the end of this, and that I'll be like nothing but tears. So I'm, I'm curious to see. <laughs> Do you feel any different? Now that we got the rings on, I mean. No. Why? Do you? Actually, yeah. I think so. What is it like? It's just different. Just the responsibilities, I suppose. Responsibilities. Do you like the name Anya? Would you like to name her Anya? I'm talking about the lighthouse. Because her name was Anya, if I remember. I understand. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so. Because that's the light. Because we're going in reverse, so I already know the name, but I didn't know for what. Yeah, Anya's a good name for her. Hey, come with me. So I'm guessing this is their wedding day because they said they got married here, and she's wearing a yellow and blue wedding dress. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I had to point that out. That's kind of weird. Um, what am I doing? This can't be a good idea. I'll probably trip and fall. Don't worry, just follow my steps. Aww, they're dancing. That's so cute. Aww. Oh. Ow, my ass. I think you stepped on my toes. Sorry. Come on, let's try again. <laughs> At least he's trying to re be romantic. I give that to him. Do they dance until the morning or are we still going backwards? I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't know which way we're going with this story. We are going in a direction that is unbeknownst to me. Oh God, okay. <laughs> To promise to love and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live? I do. And do you take this man standing before you to be your lawfully wedded husband? To promise to love and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live? Yes. By the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Walls. Wales. Walls? Ugh. Oh, here's the doctors. Ugh. Weddings. Uh, yeah. What did you think that was? I'm just bad at weddings, that's all. Fluids tend to escape from my eyes. I didn't know you were the sentimental. Oh, did I say my eyes? I meant my mouth. And by fluids, I meant both fluids and solids. That's a lovely image. Thanks, Neil. 
Come, let's find a way to get out of here. All this happiness and joy is really putting you off, too, huh? No, I just don't like watching people make mistakes. Sheesh, whatever happened to you, just take it moment by moment. I kind of agree with the, with her. Because uh, you already know how the story is going to end at this point. He, his life is basically unfulfilled, so... So, yeah. <laughs> you already know, like, it's not going to end well for him. Or he feels not as happy. Oh, I better go see how your aunt is doing. Alright, Ma. Tell her thanks for coming. I will. I'm so proud of you, Joey. Joey? Joey? Exactly. Oh, that's my grandpa's name. He passed away before I was born. Ma calls me by it as my nickname. How come you never told me about it? Because I'd rather you call me John. <laughs> Ugh, not another sentimental grandparent childhood. What do you have against those anyways? I mean, you sure talk about your grandfather a lot. What? No, I don't. Whatever you say. I'm so proud of Joey. Mommy issues. Maybe I need to go down. Freaking, I can't tell what I can and cannot walk over. There, go. Yeah, I'm supposed to go this way. Okay. Oh, here's all the cars, and there's somebody over here, so what is the... Okay. Up is them. Standing on a road with roadkill, I'm guessing. It can't be helped, River. I'm sure they didn't mean to you. Come on, we're late. Wait, is that a rabbit? I think this is the source of all those folded paper ones. Why would she obsess over some roadkill? Not to mention so many years later. Don't ask me, you are the woman here. I'll be convinced that I'm the only one when you do a cowardless bungee jump. Huh. Okay. Welcome back, everyone. Hold on, let me turn off my TV. Um, I had to go do some few things, and now I'm back. And we are gonna get ready with this roadkill. Woo! The best day of your life, and you are surrounded by a roadkill rabbit. You know, totally... Totally romantic for your wedding day. Why? I mean, why not? Freaking mouse. Why not? Boop, 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 boop. Yeah! Three tries and I got it. Mm. <laughs> you know it's fantastic wedding when the mementos roadkill. Hey. Maybe she saw it as a metaphor for the terrible marriage. So years later, she began folding the rabbits because she was reminded of how rotten it was. Alright, you know, something equally pretentious. Cool story, Neil. I believe that probably is somewhat right, kind of. Because if you remember, the rabbits are blue and yellow. I mean, the, that one rabbit that he gave her was blue and yellow. And her wedding dress is blue and yellow. And they saw the rabbit. On their wedding day. <laughs> Poor thing with all this roadkill. What's with all the roadkill today? Don't you look don't look at me like that. Smells like a farm. And roadkill. Detective de deactivate the scent simulator or get away from here already. Do 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 gonna get away from here going on the road bus. Yeah, dodge that I don't think it can hurt me. What the fuck is this horse doing here? Whoa. Don't do it. Don't do what? You know what. Don't not ride this horse. What are you, five years old? Okay, I won't not ride it. Oh my god. Hey ya! Quit wasting time, Neil. Oh crap. That can't be good. Ah, do something! Don't just stand there, help me! <laughs> Damn it, this was not in the job description. Oh, great. 
Neil, Neil, where are you? Neil, is this a barn thing? Barn. Well, that's the edge, so I oh, I can go. <gasps> it's them. Hello, people. Is this real? Is that really a good idea? It's what really? She should be okay. She's not new to this anymore. But she's has never done it by herself before. I'll be fine. I'm not a child. Oh! Ah! Ah! River! Uh-oh. Can't be that bad. She's still alive. Oh! Oh, well, she's having fun. It's happy music, so she must be having a lot of fun. What's the matter? Let's go! Hey! Wait up! Uh-uh. Huh. I wonder if Neil got off that horse yet. Yeah. Nope, he has not. This is about 19% more than I can handle. <laughs> what a moron. I guess I'm riding a horse. Yep, I'm about to ride a horse. Okay. Oh, what the corn cob. Oh. Woo! Okay. Oh, there he is. Neil. How is this horse taking you? Jesus Christ, horse. What the hell are you? Horse. There we go. Saved you. Thanks. Ow. Oh. Am I supposed to... Oh. Alright, got them all? Holy poop. I am amazing. Hey, here's the memento. But I'm not getting on that horse again. You get the rest of the memory links. Already got them. And I'm still on a horse. One, two, three, four, and five. Boom, boom, boom. Pair the memento. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. And boop, boop, boop. Ah, uh, yeah. The purse is the memento. Oh, wrong way. There we go. Activate. But yeah, I think I'm, I'm, I'm on to something with that rabbit thing that he pointed out. The simple fact that I think it's, it was like uh, her saying that she loved him because they got married. Something maybe maybe like that. Is the, is, is the diagnosis certain? Yes, we've reached a conclusion on the results. Oh great, large words are coming. <clears throat> I get my thinking cap on. Unfortunately, like many cases of pervasive developmental disorder, this is a rather late diagnosis. Had you known when you were a child, miss, it could have saved you a lot of trouble. Do you have any books on it? This one by Tony Atwood. He's one of the specialists at the subject. You can borrow it free of charge for now. Just don't elope with it. Thanks, Doc. Now, are you two a couple? Unmarried and without any other current legal afflictions. Yes, I see. Well, I could give you a referral to a specialized counselor if you, if you wish. Is there anything unsettling in this relationship? No. And you, sir? I think he has some... Some issues. No, it's fine. Liar. Nonetheless, sir, you should also give the book a read. It'll help you understand her condition. I'd rather not. Why is that? Well, it's, all, it's your call. In the meantime, there is a thing called equine therapy that may help, that might help her. A ranch just north of here offers it. I can contact them for you. Okay, so that's okay. Still going backwards. Told you so. A plain Tony handbag. Tony Artwood. Are you going to give me a memento? No. Okay. Got one. Two. Platypus. Stop platypus. I can't believe this piece of atrocity is dated all the way back here. Looks like something someone took good care of it. She's still got pretty bad taste in animals though. Whatever. Platypuses are okay. I mean, I'm the one that likes kiwi birds. Excuse me. Could you please silence the clock? The ticking really bothers her. It's not that severe. I'll be okay. No problem. It's standard policy. If there's anything that makes you uncomfortable, just let me know. Yeah, he jumped up on that countertop. 
Thank you. Huh, I guess that explains the ones in the house. That does explain the ones in the house. Okay, that makes sense. Just a bit longer. They'll be calling for you soon. And I guess that's probably the memento, isn't it? The clock, of course. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so we got the memento. Oh, great. I am messing this all up. Yeah, this is getting all sorts of messed up. Oh god. Amber, stop. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. That was horrible. It was supposed to be only four and I freaking did 16. Oh, it's late when you know that happens. Oh, are we in a movie theater now? Woo, movie! Hmm? Psst, look. I know, I can't believe this. He p once paid to see this crap in theaters. No, you idiot. Look, we leaped. Oh, wow, they leaped pretty far then. Damn. Oh, yeah, we leaped. Holly over. Cooked macaroni. The kid's in the theater all by himself. What a loser. You go to theater by yourself all the time. That's different. No one's competing. Com no one's competent enough to match my taste. But that aside, how can anyone last through this rubbish? Hmm. Oh, well, I think he's upset. Maybe he was supposed to be here with somebody. I don't know. I don't know. Well, he's leaving. Maybe the movie's that bad. And thus, this movie soaks on both physical and metaphysical levels. Q-E-D. Come on, let's go. What? Oh, right. Oh, following the kid. Out. Thank you. I didn't know I had to press spacebar to get it out. Oh, there he is. Whoa, wait. I ain't taking no... I'm not talking to no emotional teenager. Grammar, my dear Watson. Shut up. That's not even a full sentence. Let's just go look for mementos. Hmm. Getting set up. Now that's a Kodak moment. You relate well with this, with your kin, I see. Ooh. Burn, Watson. Okay, well, maybe, oh. Well, there's nothing here. I hate to say it, but I guess I have to nag something out of him again. All yours. Well, at least there's no olives this time. <laughs> oh, but I like the olive scene. That was fun. Huh. There she is. River? You were in there this whole time? I waited for you in the lobby. I thought you didn't come. Why did you leave? I thought we were watching the, uh, the movie together. What? Huh? I'm the one who should ask that. What do you mean? We were watching the movie together, and then you left. We weren't watching it together. I didn't even know you were where you were. If you saw me in there, why didn't you come find me? What difference does it make? We were watching the same movie in the same room. Wow. <laughs> What's wrong? You're so weird. Do you not want to watch the movie together anymore? Of course I do! Come, let's head back before it ends.
I feel like I should make a clever remark. You feel wrong. Well, let's hope our ride's waiting for us in there. Okay, well. Where are they at? Oh, they're now in the front. Oh god, it's the platypus, yep. This fucking thing never leaves. Like, okay, so this was their first their first date, probably. I would think. I fucked this all up. Jesus, I'm totally bad at these. Or it's just late and I just can't comprehend anything anymore. You know, I think this platypus is growing on me. Mostly just for convenience, but hey. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. And I think I'll end the recording there. I know I've recorded a lot. So this should be good. Okay, so we're at school. Come on, dude. Grow some balls. Um. It's not that. Look, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Oh, sheesh. What could possibly happen? Just think about it. Worst case scenario, she says no. You just strut out like nothing happened. No one will know and everyone will think you're still cool. But what if she s tells someone? Or yells at me? Don't be a little wuss. You tell him what. Or or says yes but really means no. Psh, quit worrying. Who would do that? And what if she throws an encyclopedia in my face? I don't even have a helmet. Dear Lord, I'm so not prepared for this. Dude, don't panic. Just straighten your spine and quit being a little wuss. Yeah, you tell him. <laughs> Everything will be alright. Just turn around. Okay. Okay. Hey, hey, what are you? Shh. Uh, uh oh. Uh hum. Hello? Uh, hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Then why didn't you... Never mind. Um, that's a cool platypus you got there. What are you reading? A book? <laughs> About platypus? No. Oh. Uh, I think that's great. Oh, dear Jesus. Hey, you want to go lighthouses? Huh? There are exactly 16 color order funeral lighthouses in the country left. Nine of them are coastal and one of them was modif modified for a historic kerosene lamp lighthouse. Oh, is that what you're reading about? <laughs> this is so awkward. Um, say, would you want to go catch a movie together sometime? I don't know. That's okay. I'll give you time to consider it. I can't. Why? There's no date or time. Oh, um, how about this Saturday at 8? Eva, I think the system for yes oh great never mind I guess we'll work out the details later this is really awkward um, um I'll just Jesus Christ what what are you looking at me for you think I'm going to call out how utterly awkward that was? Well, just forget it. I am not giving in to your expectations. Give him a break. He was still just a kid. You of all people should relate. 
What? That's what is that supposed to mean? Shut up and go. Shut up isn't my name, you know. Whew. Sub platypus. Well, I suppose if you look at it from a right angle, no, not really. Never mind. What the heck were you doing there, dude? What? I asked her out. No, that was pathetic. If you, if I were you, I would have just barged in there and be all like, Hey, you, go out. Me, you, now. <laughs> That's just terrible. I know, and it would still have been better than what you just did. Kana has a point. So, did she throw an XRPD in your face, huh? Did she? Shut up, dude. See, I'm not the only one who tells people to shut up. And suddenly I feel loved. Huh. Dear Lord, I can't believe you got me to take this stupid class. Oh, come on, it's fun. Only if you can paint. You'll get good at you'll get good if you practice, you know. Yeah, right. After this class I'm never picking up a brush again. Quit complaining. I'm sure you'll learn to enjoy it someday. And he does. He actually paints. I'm not going there yet. Just, I'm going down here. Anyone? Anyone at all? <laughs> no classroom days. Alright then. River, why don't you answer it? I know you know the answer. We're waiting, River. Fine, I guess we'll have to... He made a sale on August 3rd of 1492 from the Spanish city of Palo de la Frontera, which was founded in 1322 and granted to Alvaro Perez de Gu Guzman, who was the mer age of 14 by the... Okay, okay, I only asked for the date. But see, was that so hard? Huh. Good lord, does everyone with her condition have like a photogenic memory? Not really. Though I think they're... Their rote memory is often fairly strong. Nothing? Okay. Next classroom. Peter class. Psst, she's coming this way. I'll tab, I'll tab. <laughs> really? Alt F4, Alt F4? Uh oh, they're looking at things they shouldn't. That door's closed. There's no arrow point there yet, so I'm gonna go this way. That's a wrap, you chumps. Better be, um, better next time. An atrium. We could use this place later. I just can't believe that these court lines are rectangle in his head. Hmm. You win. Boo yeah. Hmm. Nothing up here? Guess not. Oh, or, or I was pointing back out, so. Oh, they're going to Okay, so this room's not open. Sweet. Cafeteria. Oh, god damn, it. I have to go around, don't I? Damn it. Oh. More backstory. Yeah, she's unique, but she's uniquely boring. I mean, just look at her. She's just sits there by herself all day with that creepy deformed duck toy. That's not a deformed duck, that's a platypus. What the heck's a platypus? Quit making up words. <laughs> anyway, she's just so off, you know? It's like she's from a totally different planet or something. I know, isn't that cool? Uh, if you're into aliens and that sort of stuff, I guess. But really, if you want to be weird, why don't you just go hang out with the emos and goss? Well, for one, I don't want to ruin my hair. <laughs> the fact that we got a name for them says a lot, too. Look, Nick. I just, I just don't want to be another typical kid in the sea of typical people. 
But how the heck would being with her change your own identity? I mean, you'd just be some guy who hangs out with a shy girl. She's not just shy, Nick. There's something strange about her. Being strange isn't always a good thing, you know. Don't you even know if she wants to be different? Maybe she just wants to fit in like everyone else. And if she does, pushing her the other way wouldn't help, would it? Look, Nick, the point is that I know what I need. And she's the one who has it. So you want her for what she has, but not for her. <gasps> That's cold, man. Oh my god, this guy's a douche. I just hope you know what you're doing. I do. I think you're wrong, though. People aren't that typical. Everyone's unique in some way. That's just what grandmas tell you. What an asshole. Using her, basically? Wow. Wait, so this guy, guy's some kind of human hogging hipster? That's sort of disturbing. You know, sometimes I want to slap our clients upside the head. It's high school. Everyone's a bastard. But hey, welcome to the club. Wait, so this is what he told her about the cliff? I suppose so. She then went cuckoo and began to make those creepy rabbits, right? Because he confessed this from who knows how long ago. I guess she's pretty good at holding a grudge. I'm not buying it. Something feels missing. Then go get a hat, Sherlock. Come on, I think our passport's leaning against the table right there. Okay, but I'm missing a memento. Hold on, I gotta go find a memento. Watch it be the platypus. Envious that the kids was still there to help him move pianos when his when their hair grew white. I wish I was still in contact with my childhood friends. Reason and intent aside, it's pretty remarkable that they actually met in high school. How many of those go on for more than a, a month nowadays, huh? I don't know about you, but mine was pretty swimmingly. Yeah? So swimmingly, it swam right out the window. <laughs> Sounds about right. Stuff platypus. I just love how every time we see this thing, we're granted a free memory link. And it must have left a big scar on his mind as it did on mine. That's true. Since it is a memory link, it must have held like so significant meaning and value, honestly. Should I even? No need. I'm all good now. <clears throat> Kame! Oh my god. Oh, for walnut's sake. Kame! Hey! <laughs> oh, you messed up the Kame Kame Ha! Not even cool! You never cop block someone in the middle of a Kame Kame Kamehameha oh my god what I agree you don't cop block somebody while they're doing that that's fucked up shame on you shame on you the nerve of some people Okay, I didn't do too bad. Six more than what I should have. Wow. Okay, never mind. I did do bad on that one. Okay, so I'm gonna end this here, everyone. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, the thought, the uh, plot thickens. Um, but yeah, I I can't wait to see what happens. So, as always, like and subscribe if you enjoy what what I'm doing. If you enjoy my videos, uh, leave comments down below about the vi uh, the video if you want. Um, yeah just leave some feedback it's always nice and everything but yeah as always i'll see you guys in the next video bye